Fine. Fine. Yes. See you then. Goodbye. Table for two, nine o'clock. Customers are due in ten minutes. I'm going as fast as I can. Tom, Tom, Tom! Don't forget the glasses with the red one as well. Get about now, Mr. Crabbe. Henry, for heaven's sake, go away! You're making matters worse. Can you hear a car? Early. How inconsiderate can he get? It's a disaster. Tell him to go away. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him we've been flooded. Tell him we've had a fire. May I suggest, Mr. Crabbe, return to the kitchen. Mrs. Crabbe, help Linda. I'll greet the customers. Yes, yes. Now, did you all hear that? I want everybody to do exactly what John says. Higgins! Yeah, all done. Come on! Come on! Margaret! What? The lights! Good evening. Sit in down now. Good luck, Mr. Crabbe. John's handing out the menus, very good. Ordering drinks, so far so good. That woman's frowning at the menu. What's she frowning for? It's about the good menu. She's just reading it, Chef. Relax. Oh, God, get me through tonight. I swear I'll never complain in a restaurant again. Well, up to a point. One tureen, one smoked eel, two pie, two chicken. Right then. to the dining room. Dinner's on the house. Mr. Fisher's in there with Barry Simmons. Uh, I'm Mr. Crabbe's gentleman on two at Mr. Fisher. I'd like to speak to you. Yeah. All right. Uh, Steve. Yes, sir. Can you manage for five minutes? I can manage for five minutes. There you go. Cambridge, help yourself to a glass of red wine. Good evening, sir. 
So, I believe you have something for me. Yes, uh, I'd like to ask for something in return, I'm afraid, sir. I'm disappointed in you, Crab. I didn't think you'd exploit the situation for your own end. No, 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 not for myself. I want some assurances about Shipley. About Shipley? Yes. I want no charges to be brought against him. Give him early retirement. Medical grounds, job-induced stress, something like that. On full pension. Not all the help his family need until he can get himself sorted out. Well, how about giving him a medal into the bargain, eh? The man's a troublemaker. He's destructive, and I don't just mean to himself. I should know. I'm the one he's been trying to smear. Well, if that's your attitude, I'm afraid I can't help you, sir. All right, Barry, calm down. Crab's right. A degree of Christian charity is called for in this case. Shipley's our responsibility. After all, he's one of our own, and uh, we have to look after our own, don't we, Crab? <coughs> Now then, is there anything here that isn't swimming in saturated fat? sitting there listening to Shipley obsessively moaning on about Chief Superintendent Barry Simmons. And I had a sudden vision of myself, embittered, obsessional, moaning on about Fisher. God knows you've got enough to moan about. You know, Shipley's way of coping with it was to create this fantasy world of corrupt coppers out to do him down. And it occurred to me maybe that's what the restaurant is, a, a fantasy, a bit of wishful thinking to make up for all the disappointments. Come on. They want to share a drink with you. It was a great success, Henry. We made £625.43p. That is not a fantasy. You never counted it already. I'm an accountant. When I see money, I count it. Do you think it went well tonight? No, no, really, honestly and truly. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> That's my only egg for three days. It just broke. 